What is up YouTube, back again with another video. Today we're gonna be buzzing my guy's hair. I'm using a number eight guard. And after I get done buzzing his hair, I'm gonna be doing a taper fade on the sides, a mid taper to be specific. I'm not a big fan of using guards, but in this case, it's just efficient. It's the number that he wanted. He's an up and coming barber. He, he knows how to cut hair and he knows what he wants. So he, we slap the number eight on the wall and we're gonna go ahead and run through it. Making sure everything's thorough, you might have to use your comb to pick up some of the hair. Next, I slap on my number four guard. I'm gonna trim the sides using the number four guard because just because it's a buzz cut does not mean it has to be even all the way around. You don't want the sides to be super bulky. This is all honestly personal preference, but just to make it look cleaner. As you can see, I ran the guard through the front too just to make it easier to line up. And again, we're just removing bulk where we don't want it to be. At this point, we're just prepping the work before we do the taper. We always want a solid foundation before we start on our fades. Keep that in mind. Next, I grab my thinning scissors and we're just gonna go ahead around the crown and we're gonna clean it up a little bit, lighten it up, fading the number four into the eight. This just gives it a, a cleaner look. It helps to keep the length, but just to really smooth it out. Now, we change the camera to our taper and obviously we're always gonna start off with our, our balders, which in this case I have my trimmers. We're gonna take it right where his ear and the, his cheek connects and we're gonna do a slight curve. Turn the trimmer around so you get it nice and bald. Grab your shavers and shave that spot, looking at the top. Grab your fading clippers. I'm gonna open them wide up and we're gonna go up about half an inch looking at the top. After this, we're gonna close them up and we're just gonna play with the lever to get the fade that we want from the zero to the one. Using the corner of the blade, brush between strokes as needed because you always wanna see what you're doing. You always wanna work on a clean canvas. Really work those edges. Next I grab, I saw it was a bit bulky, so I'm gonna use my number two guard to really remove more bulk. It just makes it easier to kind of keep the fade where you want it and not to accidentally go higher. So this is what I'm doing here. Again, we're just using the tip of a blade, the edge of our blade, we're not using the entire actual blade. I slap on the one and I'm gonna, I open up the lever all the way. Make sure to move the ear by the side so you can work behind the ear. I close the lever and at this point I'm just gonna tweak the lever as needed. Slap on the half bar and I'm gonna drop in those little small details that are really gonna connect those two areas together. This is that secret piece right there that's gonna make the blend extra crispy. take off the blade and as needed again we're just going to go in and, and hit those details. On the next side I'm going to do the same process. I shave it, use that number two to get some of that bulk off. Keep in mind that I do these haircuts while I'm actually on the hour. So normally I wouldn't actually do one side and then jump to the next side. I actually would just like do every step. Let's say if I do the number two I would, I would slap on the number two and I would do every little work at, that I need with a number two and then switch on to my, let's say number one guard. Get everything I need to do with my one guard and then once I'm done. So this is just one way that I do it so I can save time and be more efficient. But due to the video, obviously I wanna get a good angle and I'd have to move them a lot. So this is just the way that works while I'm filming. Hope that makes sense. Do that I'm cutting the videos in up and coming barber. Do we have any up and coming barbers in the watching right now let me know in the comments for some reason I like to fade out the sides first and then do the back piece last I just want to concentrate all my attention on the back for some reason it's a bigger spot and I just want to get the sides out of the way honestly my favorite is, is, is doing the neck taper ball that boy out in the back I don't really have much of a curve I just kind of like to go all the way around or just straight ahead the neck is also very much more sensitive, so be careful with the blade. Don't push down too hard. Honestly, it's not really needed um, because we're gonna go back with the shavers and bald it off. So just make sure you get all the hair out um, using the blade upside down like, like I have in this video. 
making sure it's all even before we move on. Real quick guys, it'll mean a lot if you guys like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more and drop a comment if you have anything to say. For some reason, I don't know if it's because I'm right-handed or not, but I like to work from right to left. But you guys, everyone has their own style. The key is to find the way that you like the best. The back, you can go up a little higher than the sides. So um, if you can see, it's about, I went up about an inch, looking up at the top. You can kind of see me tweak my lever a little bit better from this angle. So after I did the lever open, I'm now I'm working at the bottom with the lever about all the way close to like a quarter to halfway close, but you tweak into to the desired level. With time, you will develop a professional eye to just kind of freehand to see where you need to take off more or less. Again, we're gonna slap on that number two in the back and we're just gonna debulk. This is really just a guide to keep my fade at a certain level. So that's, that's why I like to do this. We open up the lever and we're gonna blend that two into the four that I did earlier. Next, I'm gonna slap on the number one guard and I'm gonna go ahead and again, we're gonna fade up an inch, always flicking at the top. I don't care what level you're on, what stage you're on, always flick out at the top. We're flicking parallel to the head shape. So keep that in mind in case you don't know what angle to flick out at. Tapers for me has always been the funnest haircuts to do. It's actually the first haircut that I learned how to blend in. And this was me back in high school doing tapers on myself with the number three, uh, number three guard slap just buzzed all the way through. But I don't know, tapers have a special place in my heart. I don't really get them myself anymore, but I just I just think they're super fun. They're quick, they're small. It's um, just something about them. So it's a nostalgic thing for sure. As you notice in the video, he has these two like, kind of like cowlicks on either side of his um, hairline there. So I'm gonna do my best to fade him out, but again, this isn't, it's not gonna be like a perfect haircut. To be honest, probably only a barber's gonna be able to see this, but uh, as a barber, don't stress out. Some haircuts are just gonna look a certain way and you're gonna have to be fine with that. You can't be a perfectionist with everybody. That's just what I've learned and that's just something that you need to know so you don't make it too stressful. I grab my liners and we're gonna line out the back. I like to start off from the back and then work my way around the ears and up to the front line. This is a spot that's just really, just something about it is very orgasmic, just lining the neckline. I like to, you know, set the main line first and turn it around and get all that loose hair out the bottom. Make sure to fold the ear very, not too aggressively and be very careful around the ear using the edge of the blade and not putting pressure because this is one of the more sensitive spots in the head. Keep in mind the, the grain in which the hair is flowing in because you always want to go against the grain. I mean going with the grain isn't really going to do much so keep in mind you want to go with the, or against the grain I'm sorry. Now I like to grab my shavers and I like to shave off all that loose hair. I did used to do this step with the razor, but honestly it's just so much easier. And it's also so much better when you do them with the shavers. I don't know, that's, that's just what I've came to learn after years of doing it. I like to get behind the ear. Now we're gonna do the side, the C cup as it's called, using still the blade, the edge of the blade. I'm gonna do the front. I always like to start in the middle and then go out. And I just bought these clippers too, so man, those boys are hitting extra hard, as you can see. Sometimes it's not even about having a fresh blade, it's just something about a fresh clipper that just hits right every single time. Clippers probably have like a good month or two in them before they start to act a little funny, they start to slow down, but yeah, that first couple weeks in, like it just hits super good. I'm gonna go back at it with the straight razor using the fresh blade, and we're gonna make those last details 
just to get it extra crispy. Honestly, I feel like the lineup is at least 70 to 80% of the haircut because you can have a shitty fade, but if you have a super crispy lineup, it'll still look dope. But if you have a clean ass fade, but a shitty lineup, it's gonna throw off everything. Wouldn't you agree? For the very last detail, I like to go back with my curved shears and get the lining. This is great for buzz cuts, for afros, for beards. I mean, if you don't have a pair of curved scissors, you better get them because these are, man, these come in clutch when you need them, I tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video I have of a taper fade and a buzz cut. But if you guys want to see more content, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video, drop a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Alejandro Cuts here, signing out. Peace out.